He's gonna switch to Puff. Pretty much every tournament he just does a little better and better. Yeah, he's, he's, definitely, he's gonna push the meta, I think. He's been grinding his way back up uh, pretty quickly. But... Already just looks like a faster game than the last. Yeah, maybe it'll, maybe I, it'll slow things down. Let's... I don't think Jerry's opposed to playing back, but I don't think he feels like he needs to play back either. And I know that Mog is usually opposed to playing defensive, so. Questionable tennis racket. Alright, he's throwing away, getting the damage there. Not that there's any real follow-ups on any throw, but... Jerry, done a lot of drills here. Yeah, they're keeping it pretty even. Please. We'll just see uh, once, once the first stop is gone, then things will get a little more interesting. Especially how they take oh, nice. the stock. A bear. Right through Peach's dash deck. Alright, a lot of uh, slow cancel nares here, though. Something Rob is getting a lot of, the back lot of damage close, off of. close to the right side. I think if you're Jerry here, you couldn't really ask for better winner's corners either. Like, playing Puff, you get to go against Peach. Caught by the Mog. Both of these guys content to trade a lot of hits, seeing a lot of zoning out back airs from Jerry, which yeah. has kind of been like the thing that broke this matchup for a long while. People are only now starting to believe in it. For Peach again. Here Mog getting off to a little bit of a lead here, though. Yeah, I don't know. He found that Nair. Really. He shouldn't die for another like 50%. So it's good for him. I think this has kind of been a strategy too. You've seen at the same percent a lot for the first two stocks. I think there's a lot of trades, but if you trade every time, then Puff should die first. Yeah, Jerry's been throwing out a lot more back airs than uh, Waddle last set. Yeah. I think part of that's just because Mog's allowing yeah. him to, too. Both his kills so far were back airs. Mog was doing a lot more to Shark after any, like, back air zoning attempt that happened on the way back, right. uh, just punishing the drift back in, uh, or getting stage position off it. Whereas Mog's just willing to get, they're running at each other a lot more, and so his zoning approach works a little bit better. Bad SDI from Jerry on that down air from Peach, and, uh, Yeah, again, not SDIing well in these down airs and having it lead into an air. Can't get out of that. Alright, and this should just be Jerry zoning out, but no, he misses it. That's it. Wow, that could have been punished a little harder, that forward smash. Oh, all right, and so this this last stock's really good. Oh, never mind. He's still alive. Still coming back. Oh, <laughs> and choice him with the umbrella a little bit. Nice. That's all. Hey, Jerry. it's one percent he didn't have before. <laughs> yeah, all three Jerry's kills so far have been backers. Oh, there's a good down smash. Jerry's hitting his way through these turnips, just throwing out hitboxes to plank with him. Oh, uh, there's a nice fair and RDI yeah. from Jerry. But gets back safely. You gotta watch Dash out. Down. I just gotta watch out for that rest that, uh. Right, this could be exactly this like. This pretty game. much exactly what happened in game yeah. one with Waddle and. Waddle and Lod, almost to the percent, but Waddle starts to rest. And, you 
Oh, there we go. Mod yeah. takes game one. Did not look like Jerry's game plan. Jerry didn't want the rest. He wanted to zone out with backers and really just outspace him enough that he couldn't get in. So. Survival. Can I guess we're going to see Dreamland? Is that both their counter picks, you think? No, I don't think Beach wants to go there. Oh, right. It gives Puff a little more yeah. survivability. All right. And especially Peach like Mog, who just wants to be... I mean, you've seen how much these two are kind of in each other's space. So Jerry wants to eliminate those down smashes on platforms. Takes him to FD. Yeah. Also, probably wanting to get rid of top platform. Nothing... Oh, no. Mog's face says everything you need to know about that sock. Not happy. Being behind the whole stock is Peach, especially in this match, is very rough. At least Puff has rest to catch it up. Peach kind of needs a stitch or needs to really outplay to make up a whole stock. You need to win so many aerial battles. Yeah, and a lot, a lot of the general idea. I think that might have been a dot eye though, helping him out a little. A lot of the idea of this matchup, from the way that I've seen him playing so far, is just getting trades and just staying ahead on the clock, just staying ahead a little bit. But charging with an up air, Jerry's lead only 50%. That's not. Not a ton. Nice. Oh, you're nice little read off that down there. All of a sudden, we're back in this. Well, I couldn't really end this other set, be <laughs> On screen. No, dude, this is great. Winner's quarters, gotta be. That is funny, though, that both winner's quarters matches. These are both, yeah. yeah. Hey, this is how you get your commentary chops. You commentate super floaties. <laughs> this is... Gotta find stuff to say to fill the space. I'm going to guess Jerry has very little match experience because it looks like his general game plan is just kind of like win because back air is better right. than Peach's entire kit. Uh, he's been doing some stuff. Mixing I mean, some I, things in. But he definitely tried for a drill up smash. Yeah, and I mean, like, obviously he's a good player and he's done some other stuff, tilts. but especially game one, you saw a lot of that, and I think that that's him trying to feel out the game plan, but knowing that, like... You know, yeah, definitely a lot it's, of... It's famous what HBox has done to Peach's with back air. And uh, Waddle had a, f a little more technology, I'd say. He had more, if not technology, familiarity with the other options right, you have right. available. Those are nice forward airs, though. All of a sudden, yeah, he's doing a lot of fun. As I'm talking, time. Jerry's back in the lead pretty heavily oh, here. We just missed him back there. That would have killed him. Oh, in a really bad situation. No jump, but managed to hit him with the parasol again. Just got to watch out for that. He's getting a little bit too far above him when he should just be hitting him from the side on the recoveries. Mog probably still gonna live for another 20% on the stage uh, before I hit will kill him. So as long as he di's okay, he doesn't get trapped in a corner. As long as he just doesn't get hit by one more bear on the corner. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh, he's able to get back. Oh, I thought he had him with that turn up, and Jerry just calls him out. Hits him into the turnip. Yeah, that might have been close to a kill on this at 90. Not a charge him, though. Peach, big tool for her in this matchup is just getting under them with that up air and getting a er relatively early kill. Up air or up smash, both kill. No, this is still best of three, right? Yes. So Mog could seal the deal. He gets some damage on that stock. Yeah, and I mean, Puff in general is going to die a bit earlier than Peach, too, so he can still take some trades and be okay here. But Jerry getting some 
Good back airs, and there's nothing Mod can do here. This should be it. Be nothing. Yeah, that's it. All right, game three. <laughs> Messenger should be able to take some solace in the fact that he did give up his stock game one at like 30%. So between that and counter pick, he should be feeling fairly confident. But Jerry definitely either getting more innovative or just getting a big buff on FD. Doing a little bit more. Uh, he can't keep doing this. Buffs up there is too strong for that. Can't even come down Falco's there on that. So is that everybody in Winners right now is a Puff or a Peach? Is that what that means? No. Oh, because uh, semi, that'd be semis. Semis, all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. All right, Jerry, looking good. I think around 110, uh, fourth throw will do it from the le from like near the edge. Yeah. Let's see. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, Jerry's. It's a nice Getting spamming so the much, Z button. So much extra credit. Let's do the Z, Z on that down air. It'll L cancel for you. It'll grab for you. It just does everything. Jerry looks pretty happy with the stage counter bit. Yeah. I don't know if. Yeah, I think Mog was hoping to get more off his down smash on platform. Instead, he just got up air three times and hasn't done one since. But he said, well, he, he just, just got a really good up <laughs> down, down air and a turn up throw, and he's back up 65% instantly, so. Now, if Mog gets back to the oh, no, 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 no. If he got back to stage, they would have been about the same percent away from a blast zone. Back in this. So Jerry looking a lot more mobile on the stage. I think the like smaller platforms give him more confidence going up to them and going around them, weaving like that. Mog content with any trade now that they're kind of in the same percent range again. Bear for Nair is not what you want when you carry. Yeah, one more trade with a up air. I think that's what I was looking for. Oh, that does it. Uh, it just finishes him. But Mog going to want to put on a hefty amount of percent here. Uh, otherwise, he risks getting rested last stock. This is where my bias is going to come out because I'm a big mob fan. <laughs> bias is okay as long as you're not actually being mean. I think. Right, right. I'm pretty so, big some, Jerry fan. Some too. bias is okay as long as you're not being mean. No, Jerry's, Jerry's cool. Dude. All right, Mog getting 63% in all just trades there, but that's kind of what he wants. All right, 63 is pretty good. Ooh, uh, gets the sword, but it does nothing with it. Sword one of the better projectiles and might out his own back air, so maybe Whoa, should have kept that. That was shield really looking small, good yeah. If you hit him with a nair. Ooh. Oh, and there's the rest, and that's it. That's that's rough. Okay, 
Oh, Mug, Messenger, not looking happy with that. And how could you? But I'm doing a set that's not pizza.